Nina Mandan's life took an unexpected turn when her dogs became the catalyst for uncovering a side of her fiancesh never knew existed. In this video, a couple in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, faces a startling revelation about their partner's unexpected relationship with their beloved pets. Throughout history, there have been instances where individuals unknowingly coexist with serial killers, murderers, abusers, or criminal masterminds. Often, these individuals portray themselves as ordinary, loving, and caring members of society until a startling discovery exposes their true, twisted nature. At 26 years old, Nina Mandan was seemingly living a joyful life in the vibrant city of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Her two cherished French bulldogs, Victoria and Gucci, were an integral part of her family, and plans for her marriage to her boyfriend Raphael Hearn were in motion. However, Mandan's happiness began to unravel as she noticed her dog's discomfort around Raphael. Despite his seemingly affectionate gestures toward the pets, the bulldogs displayed fear and unease, exhibiting unsettling behavior whenever he was around. Their distress continued to intensify, and Mandan's concerns escalated when she discovered unexplained injuries on Victoria and Gucci. Seeking answers and deeply concerned for her pet's well-being, she consulted a vet. However, the origins of the wounds remained elusive, leaving Mandan dissatisfied with the explanations provided. As time passed, Mandan's worry escalated to paranoia, especially when both dogs ended up in the hospital due to their injuries. Determined to unravel the truth behind their mysterious injuries and unable to dismiss her suspicions, Mandan took matters into her own hands. She was resolute in her pursuit of uncovering the reality behind the disturbing incidents involving her pets and her fiancé. Setting up a concealed camera in her apartment was a decision Nina Mandan made with a heavy heart. She grappled with the ethical dilemma of spying on her fiancé, Raphael Herm, someone she intended to spend her life with. However, her fierce love and concern for her dogs compelled her to take this drastic step. Mandan's devotion to her beloved pets far outweighed her hesitations, especially when it came to safeguarding them from any potential harm regardless of who the perpetrator might be. For an entire month, the discreetly placed camera covertly documented Raphael Herm's actions during Mandan's absence. Upon reviewing the footage, Mandan was left in utter shock and disbelief. The recordings unearthed unsettling and distressing. Instances of brutal and heartless mistreatment perpetrated by Herm. The harrowing scenes displayed on the footage showcased acts of cruelty that were beyond comprehension, instances of Herm viciously slamming the dogs into the ground, head-butting them, and subjecting them to appalling violence. Witnessing these acts provided a clear understanding of the root cause behind the dogs' distress, injuries, and subsequent hospitalization. The footage left Mandan emotionally shattered and deeply disturbed. Faced with the appalling truth, she made a bold and resolute decision to expose Herm's abhorrent actions to the world. Taking to her Facebook page, she posted two video clips along with a poignant message that unequivocally condemned Herm's inhumane treatment of the dogs. Mandan's choice to publicly shame her former partner elicited a varied response from the online community. While some were incredulous at her decision, accusing her of betrayal, many others offered staunch support. 
commending her for unveiling Herm's true cruel nature. The videos swiftly went viral, garnering over a million views. The public reaction was swift and unequivocal, social media. Users were aghast at the blatant display of animal abuse, expressing their outrage and demanding justice. Comments flooded in, condemning Herm's actions and fervently hoping for him to face the repercussions of his reprehensible behavior, responding to the distressing revelations. Mandan promptly severed ties with Herm and unequivocally ended their relationship prioritizing the safety and well-being of her beloved dogs above all else. As the wedding plans progressed, Nina Mandon took decisive action by reporting Raphael Herm to the authorities, initiating a pursuit for justice. However, before law enforcement could apprehend him, Herm fled, complicating the unfolding narrative. This development prompted animal rights organizations to join in the clamor for Herm's arrest, advocating for stricter penalties against animal cruelty. The case became a focal point in the wider discourse on safeguarding animals from abuse and holding offenders accountable. Following the traumatic discovery, Mandon faced the daunting task of rebuilding her life. In an interview with the Brazilian news network Globo Extra, she conveyed a profound sense of betrayal uncertain about what the future held for her and her family. Mandon grappled with feelings of distrust and anguish. Despite the emotional turmoil, Mandon found solace in the overwhelming support she received from the online community. Taking to Instagram, she expressed gratitude for the outpouring of love and assured her followers that justice would prevail. The strength of the online community played a pivotal role in assisting Mandan through the aftermath of the distressing revelation. As demands for justice for the abused dogs intensified, Mandan shifted her focus to providing a secure and loving environment for Victoria and Gucci. Through her swift actions and the support of the online community, the traumatized bulldogs began the journey toward recovery. Mandon reported that they were experiencing more peace and sleeping better in the absence of Herm's presence. While Mandon's path to healing continued, she expressed relief that her instincts had spared Victoria and Gucci from further harm. The dogs, once victims of cruelty, were now on a path to recovery. With Mandan's courage playing a pivotal role in securing their well-being, Nina Mandan's ordeal stands as a poignant reminder of the silent suffering endured by animals at the hands of those they trust. Her courage in exposing the abuse not only safeguarded her beloved pets but also sparked a broader conversation about addressing animal cruelty. Let this shocking incident serve as a call to action, urging us to remain vigilant and stand against any form of abuse towards our animal companions. In a world where our pets rely on us for protection, it is our responsibility to be their voice and ensure their safety. The story of Nina Mandan and her dogs underscores the power of courage, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to justice for those who cannot advocate for themselves. We hope you found this story engaging. Please show your support for animals in need of protection by giving it a like to further spread crucial messages. There's much more to share. And we look forward to having you join us again soon. Hello everyone. Welcome to our video. If you are here for the first time and looking for fresh news, the content here will definitely open your eyes. This is the incredible story of how a man rescued a wild beast from the vicious attack of a hunter and received its thanks. Once upon a time, there were two tigers living in the forest and their family had three children. 
The tiger father was old and his body began to weaken. Before he died. He called the three children and said to them, Children. Please remember that the tiger is the king of the forest. Tigers can roam the jungle and prey on other animals at will. But there is one animal you have to be wary of. He is stronger and more cunning than a tiger by himself. And that animal is man. Before I die. I want to solemnly warn you. Be vigilant against human beings. And do not try to hunt and kill human beings no matter what. Saying that. Tiger Dad turned around and died. The three little tigers respectfully listened to their dying. Parents and promised to obey. The older brothers are obedient children. They all listened to the advice of the tiger father seriously. And focused on hunting deer. Pigs and other animals in the forest. Whenever they came into the sight or smell of humans. They will carefully leave such a dangerous area as soon as possible. Andrew was always out in the woods. He knew every corner of it. This man lives with his wife and only son in a small and isolated village near a large forest where you can count very few families. One day, while Andrew was sitting at home with his son, Michael and wife Laura, he heard bullets coming from the forest. The man was surprised. He looked out the window but saw nothing. Then he heard a second and a third shot. Which convinced him that there were hunters in the forest. Although hunting is forbidden at that time of year. If a hunter is spotted by a forest guard while hunting. He can be thrown in jail. The constant sound of bullets made Andrew nervous. And he took the weapon and told his son and wife not to. Leave the house. He went into the forest to see what happened. As the man walked into the woods. He heard people laughing. But when he went after them. He found they had gone. He tried to catch up with them. But he couldn't. So he continued to wander through the woods. Hoping to find the injured animal there. This man found a dead wolf cub. Which made him very sad as he continued walking. He heard the sound of an object approaching him. Then he pulled out his gun and was about to shoot. But suddenly a little tiger came out in front of him and. Started to attack him. The little tiger thought he was one of the hunters. Andrew tried to stay calm and not approach the cub. Apparently hunters captured the cub's mother and took her away. But then they were unable to keep the cub in it. Managed to escape. The man. Trying to gain the trust of the angry tiger cub. Approached it calmly and tried to pet it. But the little tiger ran away from him. The man caught up with the tiger. Grabbed it. And kept petting it rubbing its head to calm it down until he finally tamed it. Then he decided to help it by bringing it into the house. Because he noticed that the tiger cub had just lost its mother and it would not be able to survive alone in the forest. Especially since it started snowing and the temperature was below freezing every winter. The little tiger was trembling and moaning, perhaps mourning the loss of its mother which made Andrew hate these illegal poachers, who dehumanized and took away the little tiger's mother, and left it there alone. When the man arrived home, his wife Laura and son waited anxiously for him, and the man put the cub on the kitchen table. He told his wife that he found the cub alone in the forest, and he was going to take care of it for a few days before, sending it back to the forest. The wife happily accepted it and Michael Jr. was also very happy watching the cub dot go to the cub and start communicating with it, stroking its fur gently. At this time, the couple noticed that the little tiger was tired and hungry. The wife put some milk in a small plate and put it in front of it. The little tiger drank it immediately and stuck out its tongue, as if it wanted to drink more. 
Then little Michael went to the kitchen to get him some more milk. Laura offered the cub another piece of meat. But it refused. And Laura realized that the tiger was still too young for meat. And milk was enough for him. Everyone went to bed. And in the morning. Mother came to wake up the children to go to school. But she didn't find the kid on the bed. But she heard him talking. When she went into the kitchen. She found him sitting next to the tiger. Hugging it and talking to it like he was a friend. Mom noticed how quickly Michael got used to the cub. The animal felt at ease with this little guy. And the little tiger still resisted her a bit. But it can sleep peacefully and securely next to the little boy. The mother was surprised when the child asked if they could keep the cubs at home. She did not expect her child to make the request. She decided to discuss it with her husband and decide if it was okay. She realized the animal would grow and become ferocious. And there was no way they could keep it in the house. As it would be dangerous for the children and neighbors. After Laura spoke with her husband. They agreed to keep the tiger and release him when he was old enough. Until then, they will still take good care of it. And the little boy is very happy. Michael took good care of the little animal. Feeding it. Playing with it. And taking it for walks outside. As time passed, the cub became accustomed to life with his new family and he interacted and played with all the family members. But his closest friend is definitely little Michael. Andrew is thinking about the fate of the many small animals who lost their mothers at birth. So he went to the ranger. In addition, he wandered in the woods every day, trying to arrest these illegal poachers who were shooting wild animals indiscriminately. As time passed, the tiger, called Denver, started to grow bigger, and its tusks appeared, and it needed more food. It eats 5 kilograms of meat a day, which led the couple to think of a way to convince their son that it was time for the tiger to go back to the forest, as the family could no longer give him enough meat, which would make the tiger unhappy and may attack any animal that gets in its way, including Michael. The tiger went to the forest with Michael, and the tiger stayed with Michael like his protector the whole time he fished from the river. If someone approached him and tried to hurt him, his reaction would definitely be violent. Over time, the tiger stopped eating, so Andrew took the vet home to check it out. When the veterinarian examined him, he was told that the tiger was doing well. But the tiger was very sad because it wanted to go back to the forest and continue its life. The decision to abandon the tiger was difficult for all of them, but they finally agreed to release the tiger and escort it to the entrance of the jungle, say goodbye to it, and go home in tears. Michael was the one who was most affected by the loss of the tiger. He considered the tiger his best friend. But over time he came to believe that the tiger had a life of its own and liked to be free in its world tiger returned to Andrew two days later. Apparently missing his family and staying home with them. The next day, Andrew heard word that a tiger had attacked hunters. In the forest praying and killing them. Andrew immediately thought of the tiger. Because when it came back from the forest, he noticed drops of blood on its body. But he quickly wiped the blood away so his son and wife wouldn't notice. Apparently, the tiger left the forest to get revenge on the hunters, who kidnapped and orphaned its mother months earlier. When he went to the forest with Andrew and Michael, the tiger had become part of the family protecting them like his own family. Since the tigers attacked the hunters, 
there has been no news of killing wild animals in that forest. The animal has helped other animals in the wild by keeping them safe from illegal poachers. Thanks for watching. Please like and share on social networks. We will reply you as soon as possible.